Hey everyone, just wanted to give an update. Um, it has been two days since the previous video, but I realized some things over the last couple days um, that I wanted to include. One of them just being um, kind of like a video of me feeding them, but snails aren't exactly quick, so it's not like they're really going to jump on it and it would take hours possibly for a bunch of them to really amass. So I wanted to just show you guys um, what you see here, this this whole pile, I'm going to try to outline it with my finger, this whole pile, those are shrimp. Um, they're probably all within about a month old, maybe two months old, some a little less, you can tell maybe by the size. Um, I'm going to tilt the camera here slightly. There's a, a, one of the bigger ones right there, um, and there's actually... Oh no, that's that's all shrimp. Um, there's a number of them stuck on the glass and stuff. I'm gonna go up a little over here. There's another big one over there, some on the glass. See all of them over here on the glass? There's another big one. He's got other shrimp on him, or shrimp, uh, snails on him that are just eating like algae and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, so this is, I'm trying to get a better angle here, all right. So the dark brown that you see, those are basically, um, that's like aqua soil basically, or just, it's really just kind of like compressed dirt balls. Um, that is, the specific brand is ADA so, uh, soil. Um, but it's basically just compressed dirt balls. Um, and then all the other, anything you see that is not a dark brown, so they're everywhere, you can't see them too, too well, but every little dot, the little, little ones, they just, the bigger they are, the older they are. So, like this one way over here, that's one of the original three that I had. Um, and then these guys are all just within the last few months, basically. And I even want to say maybe within two months. Um, there's one falling off over there. But I'm going to drop a couple pellets in here. Oh, wait a second here. Um, I want to I wanna, uh, focus, the reason I wanted to make this video, so... Yesterday, I put two big, uh, not big, but wafers that are about the size of my nail there. Um, I dropped two wafers. One was an algae wafer, and one is just like a generic kind of a protein wafer. It's just to be for like shrimp or food for like bigger fish, stuff like that. Um, but I dropped them in there right around that area, um, and they're now almost gone. So those shrimp, those snails are... I apologize. If I say shrimp, just know that I'm meaning snails. Um that one there's some pink in there uh, really good can't see it too well on camera um, but if I accidentally say, say shrimp I mean snails it's because almost entirely most of what I like is shrimp so most of my tanks are shrimp um, but this one is specifically snails so I apologize if I'm just used to shrimp 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 so um, but yeah so I dropped all the food in here yesterday and I just wanted to show you guys that um, so you can see a lot of the snails they've dog piled in here and they're on top of each other and just all over right there but they're really more just out today and yesterday because there was food in there so they're exploring they're looking but they can also kind of sense it in the water column um, which kind of brings them out and they start searching for it so that's why they're all kind of there they've chomped through the wafers and there's just kind of excess debris from it around um and just i guess kind of sense of it there uh, but i'm going to drop some other food in there um, these are <clears throat> these are extreme aquatic shrimpy pellets they're really small um and these aren't i'm not feeding them these for any particular reason i'm gonna drop a couple in a few actually i'm gonna drop some more drop a bunch um i'm not feeding them these for any particular reason they're not like great for snails or anything like that i'm feeding them these because this is one of the original foods i got for my snails when i started or my shrimp now i'm saying the opposite um this is one of the foods i originally got for my shrimp when i very first got into it and maybe like a year ago and they are not these they take a while to really kind of eat and break open and like you can only get so many shrimp on them and they can only eat them so fast because they're, I don't know if it's just because they're so compressed or what it is. Um, 
overall, I mean, they're they're edible. Everything seems to like them to a certain extent, but they will sit there and, I mean, I've seen them get days old or if you don't have enough shrimp or anything else to eat them, they will start going bad, um, which can cause problems. It gets your tank looking dirty um, among, and that's just the lightest kind of things, but I'm sure they can grow bacteria. They get like a film, biofilm on them that stuff doesn't like, not even shrimp. Um, so, yeah, it's it's just, I'm, I'm feeding the snails these because, like I said in the previous video, the snails, the awesome thing with snails is they are basically garbage cans. They eat whatever they can that's edible, so to speak. That's the easiest way to put it. Um, they'll eat algae off the glass. They'll eat your old foods um, that other stuff might not want, or maybe it's just old and it's just kind of stale, basically. Um, on the topic of stale, I've never really... People talk about foods going bad, and I'm not sure if that's how true that is. I mean, surely it does to some extent, but, and I'm, you know, I'm sure to that extent, the older it gets, the worse it gets, but everything seems to eat stuff anyways. Um, now most of my foods are within, you know, like these. These are about a year old, maybe. Um, but things, I mean, they, they still eat it, so... I really can't speak a whole lot of, I mean, as to whether or not I'm feeding a little more. They really, really can tell. I, I don't know the full extent. But. Um, yeah. So I just wanted to give a little update. That was food. They're, they're piled in from food from a day or two, yesterday actually. And so I'm just adding in some more food and what what will happen is they'll all just slowly over the hours, um, they will just group up again in there to all those little places um, that the food dropped and they'll just slowly consume it and what will happen with that is the more the, the more you feed them and kind of slightly overfeed them like the more food that they know is available the more that they'll feel like hey you know it would be great in here more of us and so they'll breed and just you know, soon enough there will be some, some babies on the glass, basically, or some, some eggs or whatever snails do exactly. But they'll, they'll lay, you know, on the uh, some eggs, so to speak, on the glass, and then those will hatch soon. And you really don't have to do anything with snails but feed them. You want If they have food in a decent environment, that's pretty much it. So um, as far as things go, this tank really doesn't have, like, Never really changed the water. Then again, I mean, the water doesn't really smell or anything like that. I don't have any issues with it. Um, I will say with this water, there is, um, in all my tanks, I use, I use something called Shrimp Mineral GH Cage Plus. And I keep my level, my GH up near almost 20, um, which I've never heard a whole lot of people doing, but I keep my GH very high in all my tanks, and that's pretty much all I do with them. I don't worry about anything else. Um, I don't do water changes very often, um, but that's not really what we're here in the video to discuss. But um, the, the high GH um, is just really good for their shells. It keeps them nice and hard, um, keeps them from cracking, keeps them from getting thin. Um, GH and basically calcium um, is what what is in there so when I add that it's adding basically plenty of calcium for them to keep around them and it, it, it's very healthy for them so you definitely want to do that I'll, I will add that's very 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 important for any type of a uh, invertebrate like anything with like a, a shell or uh, yeah anything like that so you can actually see some of them moving. I'm gonna tilt the camera, see if I can get it without getting too shaky. There we go. Focus on this blue one if you, for those of you watching. This blue one in the corner, he's beelining. There's a piece of food right here what he's beelining for. So if you watch just how slow they move, I love how blue these guys are. Um, I know in the other video I mentioned, one of them turned like a solid brown color, which I don't know why. I hope he still has the blue genetics, but um, so that when he's breeding, he's not passing that blue color, um, surely, I hope. Um, but what I have noticed is 
Some of them are like a gold pearl color, which is really cool. Um, I'm wondering if that's from that brown one. I don't understand it, but it's pretty neat. Um, so like I said, this, this this colony, so to speak, of snails, it all just started from three ramshorn, blue ramshorn snails. I bought them online. Um, they're pretty versatile. I mean, it, all they need is food, and you definitely want to keep some type of a calcium in there. Um, like I said, I, I have the um, Shrimp Mineral GHKH Plus. It's from... Uh, I believe it's from Glass Garden. Yeah, Glass Garden. Um, Glass Garden, they're a, um, I want to say like a Swedish or somewhere in that general area. Um, I hope nobody gets offended by that, if, especially if I got the area wrong, but um, it's essentially across the, the world for me uh, in, the, in the state. So uh, don't mean no offense. I don't mean to sound uneducated, uh, nothing like that, but um, Swedish or Finnish. Something along those lines. Uh, I have nothing but the utmost respect for any any country in that area. They all seem to put out some very good products and knowledge and all kinds of very smart people. So, um, but yeah, I just wanted to add that stuff as far as the um, shrimp and just show you guys kind of the aftermath of feeding. And as long as they have a fairly steady food source, they will keep breeding um, and keep laying eggs. They just need at least slightly more than what they're used to and the trick there being um, if you have too much it's going to dirty your tank it's going to look bad um, and yes they will eat um, but they can only eat so much at a time now with that said i haven't really seen too what's too too much for a snail so i don't know that aspect and i guess i have um when i had mystery snails maybe i just had just too much in general in there but when i very first started i got some mystery snails and it was just a Every day it was a different bad situation. I'd come home and there would just be like a dead mystery snail on the ground, like outside of the tank and all kinds of different issues. I've come to realize now that mystery snail probably wasn't even dead. He just was in his snail and or in his shell. Um, Cause I had that happen again. I was like, screw it. I just tossed it back in the tank, you know, saying that maybe something cool happened with it. He lived, he, he was kicking about the next day, you know, later that day or the next day. and. So they're, they're, they're odd, uh, odd creatures and they definitely have a little bit of a personality. I haven't seen any of these ones do except for the, some of the babies, but with my mystery snails, they would all of a sudden just, um, like unlatch from the side and just dive bomb down, like just free, just jump off the edge basically. Um, like climb up to the top, jump, fall to the bottom and then just start the whole process over again. So some of them, they definitely seem to have their own personalities. They're pretty cool. So uh yeah pretty neat creatures um, yeah and i guess that's all i wanted to add um show you guys so um, if you do, if you uh i know i haven't mentioned it so if, if you guys don't mind like dislike the video comment if you don't mind let me know if it was helpful say thanks if you if, if you want um and i would love it even more if you, anyone subscribed feel free to unsubscribe later if you want i'm not gonna or anything like that but that's my spiel uh, it goes a long way uh, for somebody like me I'm a, a nobody don't make a lot of money either and I love to get some money to invest back in the hobby and make more videos for you guys too so spread my uh, odd knowledge around um, so I hope everyone has a good uh, good day and everyone takes it easy and you guys have a good uh, good one goodbye